Arizona Governor Katie Hobbs Kerry Lake. In this video, I'm going to talk about one of them. So in this video, we're going to talk about Arizona election, specifically the governor candidates. This video, we'll talk about Katie Lakes, Katie Lakes, <laughs> put the two together, <laughs> Katie Hobbs, and the other one, Carrie Lake, we'll do in another video. That was kind of funny. Uh, Arizona governor. So I want to talk about their performance when they each were interviewed with the Arizona Hispanic Chamber and the and Face the Nation. So I watched both videos, both interviews, and they were to sum up Katie Hobbs' performance, it was awful. I she is she's an adult. She's what, maybe fifty years old-ish, give or take. And I would assume that she has done some other public speaking, but she just, all she said was ums, uhs, and she never answered the question, which I guess is, a, is what politicians do. They really don't answer questions. But it was amazing. You, you know how, how when you talk to people, how some people have these, these words that all they do is they repeat. Like, if you notice with me, I say so a lot. So, or some people might say, uh, um, like, basically, and a handful of other words. And, but, like I'm going to do it right now, but, <laughs> so, <laughs> see, I just did it. But people use those words because it, it allows them to form a frame of thought, or form a frame of thought, to frame a thought and to be able to then transpose it into words. And those who are very good at public speaking has practiced it enough that they get good at it. You would think as many years as she's been alive that she would have practiced it multiple times. I'm not a professional, duh, right? So I say it a lot, but I'm expected because I'm just a, I'm just a low life, right? But she's supposed to be in the public eye. She wants to be a public servant. She wants to, she's she's going to be doing, as governor, multiple interviews on multiple different media networks, and. She's she's going to be talking to all kinds of people, business leaders, and other chamber of commerces, and other politicians, and maybe even foreign leaders, especially Mexico, Arizona, Mexico. You know, being border to each other, being neighbors. Man, can you just imagine how that conversation would go? Um, uh, you know, really. So, she's, but the way she sounded though, the whole interview just sounded like she had lack of confidence. She, she wasn't really assertive of her, she, she wasn't, a, she wasn't sure exactly how to answer things. So she was BSing it. She, she, uh, she was just awful. She, she was not organized, no attention to detail at all in the way she answered anything. Just, I thought it was embarrassing. I watched that and, and putting myself in the shoes of if I'm interviewing for her for a job, I'm like, hmm, all right, let's see the next candidate. She didn't win me over. And if I'm even running a political campaign, I'm like, oh, man, she needs some work, you know? 
You gotta cut out the uhs and ums. Come on. And if you at least cut out the uhs and ums, you at least would sound more like a professional. Now, I will add this to those two interviews. She did not go through a debate in her primary with another Democrat candidate. She did not debate them. And she refuses to debate Carrie Lake. But why would she not debate? Why would she debate her own party? Now, she claims I'm not going to debate Carrie Lake because it should create chaos. She's an election denier. Even though the Democrat Party and a bunch of media denied the election in 2016. So technically they're election deniers too. So it makes everybody election deniers. But she, I don't know, she just, it makes it, when I watch those interviews and then I learn that she didn't even debate in the primary, not even her Democrat opponent. It really makes me wonder, that's why she didn't debate. She didn't debate because she is not sure of herself. She she doesn't have confidence. She's making it up as she goes. And she knows with all of her uhs and ums, that's all she's going to get out of the debate. She can't express herself. And when she's put on the spot, when she's pressured... She can't answer. She can't respond. So she doesn't have pre-planned answers. She's clueless. She can't. She can't think on the fly. And that kind of worries me. That means she always has to be prepared. Now it's nice to always be prepared, but there are times when you just can't be prepared. You just got to do something. You just got to speak up. You just got to whatever. And she can't do that. Now she's a very attractive woman though. I give her I give her husband thumbs up on that. But still, what a horrible candidate. It, it, I kind of almost get the feeling that she really doesn't want to be governor. I get the feeling that she doesn't care. That she's only doing it because the Democrat Party wants her to. And she's like, well... Well, I'm not really good at all this stuff, but okay, if you want me to, I will. That's kind of what I get out of it. Because, man, she really should have debated in the primary. I think that hurts her most, that she didn't debate in the primary. And then when you listen to her talk, yeah. I'll look on YouTube. If I find some links on YouTube, I'll put them down here on, those, uh, on her campaigning. But horrible. So, Kitty Hobbs, governor for Arizona? Yeah, is there somebody else? Because I don't think she wants the job. Um, uh, uh, um, uh. That's her middle name. So, I don't know. Awful. Thanks for watching Jeff Arizona Hot Topics. Stay tuned for more. Stupid fun. And well, by the way, this is only my opinion. See you by a fun.